Hi, I'm T.H. Culhane for Solar City, Zabilla Culhane behind the camera. Today is June 28, 2009, the day after Kelian's first birthday. And on that day, we had another one of our birthday biogas bonanza parties and added to the experiments with the biogas system by taking this waste disposal, that's what they call it, a food digester or incinerator, and installing it underneath this sink out here to experiment to see if we can make a biogas system that could be put in somebody's normal kitchen as the food is thrown into the sink, it would then be ground up and then go into the biogas. Since we don't have the room and the luxury of re-plumbing the whole house, we're just doing the experiment on the porch, and that means that we'll have to take what the incinerator produces in a bucket and carry it over to the biogas system. But if this was done in a more professional manner, we'd have the biogas system in the basement connected to the internal plumbing, and then the food would then automatically go to the biogas digester. Uh, this does have a tendency to shut off because it overheats. Uh, in your normal kitchen, you'd have a cold water source constantly keeping it cooled off. Here we have to use a hose. I'll turn the water on. And um, I'll plug this in. If you don't have a switch. then it shut off. So that is one of the limitations. Let me turn this. Off. However, what we get is the ground up food. And then we pour that into the biogas digester. Now, it does do the right job. Of course, as we saw, this is not the right sort of setup and situation. What you'd want to have it is plumbed so that automatically put the food as it was being ground up into the biogas digester. Uh, the concept is, is good. Uh, obviously, it's not uh, feasible the way we're doing it, but it gives the indication that this could be done for future biogas systems in an urban setting. Thanks a lot.